Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. I'll be relating or narrating for you an article, which unfortunately these days you find lots of people have been hijacked identity-wise to forget their Islamic identity and they've started imitating, unfortunately, the pagans and the non-believers in the way they celebrate their festivities or festivals. We are very much disturbed and annoyed by the fact that the Muslims unfortunately have started to go away, many of them from their deen, their identity, Islamic culture. This hurts and disturbs me a lot. This is why I would like to share with you this hadith that has been narrated or uh, narrated by uh, that has appeared in, in the in the Sunnah. Talking about those at the end of the day when they will start following the Christians and the Jews in their practices, their norms and customs. And Prophet Muhammad mentions it and resembles it to the lizard's hole, those they will follow the, those Christians and Jews and imitate them as if they were to even go in the lizard's hole, they will, e they will follow them and they will go to the lizard's hole. The question is that why the lizard's hole? I was haunted by this query. It was reverber reverberating inside me. Why the lizard hole? Why would the Prophet Muhammad would resemble those who would imitate and emulate the practices or the ill practices of the Christians and the Jews, okay, uh, to the extent that if they will go and hide in the lizard's hole, those unfortunately so-called Muslims will go and follow them to the lizard's hole. I had full certitude that what, whatever, whatever uttered by our great Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi may the blessing and peace be upon him, the greatest and final Prophet ever walked on this earth, it was revealed to him through Archangel Jibreel, peace be upon him. Why would Allah choose the lizard's hole or habitat over other animals' pits or animals' habitats? Let me relate to you the hadith. Abu Sa'id al-Khudri reported Allah's Messenger, may the blessing and peace be upon him, as saying, you would tread the same path as was trodden by those before you inch by inch and step by step, so much so that if they had entered into the hole of the lizard, you would follow them in this also. We said, Allah's Messenger, do you mean Jews and Christians by your words? Those before you, by your words, those before you, we said, Allah's Messenger, do you mean Jews and Christians by your words, those before you? He said, who else than those two religious groups? This hadith had different wordings alluding to the same meaning and mentioning the lizard's hole. I traced the matter a lot to find out the reason till I spotted some brothers in the Arabian Peninsula who were involved in lizards hunts. To my surprise, I discovered the followings. I discovered that they would hunt the lizard by filling up its hole with a lot of water to directly force it to come out of its only exiting uh, holes as the lizard digs only one exit holes unlike other animals who make more exiting holes in their pits for ventilation and maneuvering to escape from other holes. Then I concluded that the lizard's hole is very destructive to those inside it. If any would block and close this only existing holes, they will be buried alive with no alternative maneuvering ex exiting holes. Alternatively, it is, alternatively, it is if it is to exit from this only holes, its enemies would catch it right away and do whatever they desire with it. Moreover, the hole stinks and has ventilation 
and moreover the hole stinks and has no ventilation as those pets and animals habitats experts would say that the lizard's holes combine the worst filth and the extreme narrowness which leaves no attraction to any sane person therefore there is no escape no attraction in the lizard's hole at all it's a destructive trap it's happening like what the prophet is telling us that you would follow the ways and actions of the unbelievers dogmatically dogmatically following their steps step by step even following matters in which destruction and immorality are so clear showing servitude and slavery to the west notwithstanding still we desire to blindly follow them ignoring that the west itself loathes them and complains about them like western family laws civil marriage incestuous relations homosexuality lesbianism children repelling against parents and leaving them at an early age in the name of false freedom rejecting and parental uh, in the name of uh, uh, children repelling against parents and leaving them at an early age in the name of false freedom rejecting any parental custodianship over them and other erratic and disgusting actions Prophet Muhammad has always spoken the truth may the blessing and peace be upon him as we could see his prophecies starkly occurring we've unquestionably enslaved ourselves to the west which is led by the Jews and Christians we've surrendered our will and desire to them inch by inch and step by step so much that some of us even has taken satan as a focal point of worship at the pretext of false western destructive personal freedom in the middle of all this we've lost our identity and taking the ungodly western destructive identity as ours being oblivious of our islamic uh, uh, islamic uh, identity it's high time to regain our islamic identity back we have to strongly and emphatically reject the lizard's character of the west we need to preserve our islamic identity based on the quranic meaningful verse which states and moreover this is my path which is straight so follow it and do not follow other ways for you will be separated from his way this has he instructed you that you may become righteous May Allah bless you all and I hope that I have said something that will guide you to regain back your Islamic identity. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah. This is Dr. Khalid al-Dosri.